This week, Neuralink, a company started by Elon Musk to develop biointerface technologies, received approval from the Food and Drug Administration to begin human trials for a chip that is designed to be surgically installed into the brain. Will and Chad, you must now discuss your opinions about this next step on the astonishing road to transhumanism. This is Brainheads. Begin! <laughs> right, Brainheads. Here's the only opinion <laughs> that, that matters. That makes sense. Uh, let's yeah. not do that. Don't do that. Thank you. Moving on. It's being done. Yeah. We already have brains in our heads. What is brain heads? That I don't know, dude. What's yeah. Game Slimer? So but. Elon Musk is now, the FDA has approved Neuralink? Uh, for human trials. Yeah. For that human trials. Week. Yes. They've already been doing it in monkeys, I believe, pigs. Um, but this technology is like, it's been around for a minute. He really is trying to like... Yeah. Smart pigs, that's the next evolution in brain chip technology. And a lot of people don't know that the CIA worked in cahoots with Stromboli, uh -huh. the wild boar who has been, he had a chip implanted in his head. How are you, how else are you supposed to uh, fire a machine gun with a, an AR? If I remember Stromboli was, he listened to... Sinead O'Connor. Right, yeah. Sinead yeah, there was a specific... A note, the well, it's note. called the Beast Note, <laughs> yeah. And that's how Stromboli... But without... You you wouldn't even need the Beast Note to have a pig fire beast machine gun. Note. Oh, don't you fucking even dare trying to do a Jesse... Beast Va Note. No, oh, I that was doing was you doing him. Oh, oh okay. Well, this is Will oh. doing... Jesse Ventura. Oh, jeez. Project Beast. No. And, and it's... <laughs> Any impersonation... I fell off a scooter, and now okay. I have to have a thousand gallons of potable okay. water uh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. heal my ribs. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anytime Chad does an impersonation that's a deep voice, it just sounds like Robert Loja. So we don't want to hear Robert Loja. So Why? Go... Oh! Well, not good. To hear on the show. Just kind of boring. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm Robert I'm gonna, Loja. Drink your orange juice. I'm going to perfect my Robert Loja. And now you're the fucking manager from uh, Major League. Every now time I we do. win a game, one of these comes off. All right, do it. Heart attack. Not as good as mine. That's Not as great. good as mine. Okay, let's do it. You say the line. We'll do it right now. Yeah, we'll do let's a, do it. Manager from Major League. Okay. Off. Ah, go. cool. Here, I'll go What's first. What's the line? We're going to do this in dudesy after dudesy after dudesy, which means on our own time. So nobody on has to listen to it. Time. Yeah, what we're not doing about? it here. Talk about the Heart fucking attack. Neuralink. Oh, geez. All right, Neuralink is this. It's a chip that Elon Musk wants to put into the brain. Who, Elon Musk? Yep. And it is ultimately going to be used in the in the best case scenario are you okay i'm by the way very glad you didn't actually break ribs or oh bones so or am i i'll tell you that right now yeah. as soon as i hit the I, okay so here's the thing i tried to get in between a curb and a pylon and i and i just went up and boom and i took the whole Fuck, bike on me it was one of those you know it's a vespa scooter it wasn't yeah. a razor scooter ass thing that you rent here in america i did not well, see how one much of are vespas it's 200 pounds what do they weigh Oh, I don't know. Yeah, probably, I would say, yeah, two, three hundred pounds. I don't know. So the whole thing, not the whole thing, but, you know, it sent me into the fucking dirt. Jesus. I smashed the side view mirror. I scuffed up the whole front side of the thing. And um, and uh, as soon as I hit the ground, I hear this crunch inside my oh, body. Fuck. If you listen to last week's show, if you enjoyed the show, you know this. And I thought, oh, something's broken. And that was my first thought. And then I slowly realized... Nothing's bad. There, there was a big bump that bubbled up on my arm, and there was some glass in my arm, um, or on my arm, I should say, a little bit of glass yeah, inside my arm, and you know, just enough to just kind of you know get it out. And then, uh, yeah, and I was so fucked up, and my shit was fucked up, and uh, dare I say, Tronics couldn't help me at that point. Uh, but then I slowly realized I don't think anything's broken. If anything is broken, it might be a rib crack, and not even that. There, but for the grace of God. Right, Chad? There before the grace of God. Right, Chad? Which God? <laughs> I'm all right. Anyway, Neuralink. Neuralink is a chip that Elon Musk wants to have installed, I think, ultimately in his own mind, own brain. Yeah. What he wants it ultimately to do is to give you essentially access to the internet in your mind. So everything in the internet, you would know. You'd be able to speak all languages, do all math, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
where it is now uh roughly is they've been able to put the chip in like uh monkeys brains and they can play pong with their mind but where we're really going and this is the fucking crazy shit and i don't know if we'll even need a chip in the brain for it right now there is a uh company that has developed this thing it's like a little mesh helmet you wear that has sensors on it and shit and they they are taking brain readings data from your brain and they have this example this is a youtube video that i watched um they show this guy a picture of a giraffe while he's wearing the helmet the data goes from the helmet into a computer and ai takes that data and makes an image based on what it thinks the guy is thinking and it creates an image of a giraffe not just an image of a giraffe a shitty image of something that barely looks like a giraffe go no, on no it's a hundred percent a giraffe yeah a giraffe with fucking little tiny hippo legs dude watch really the video weird thi- you're wrong you're, what you're saying I've, is just wrong i remember this I've seen this and I remember it and I don't have a chip in my brain. So maybe right. I don't remember it. As we may well. not need the chip in brain, but at any rate, the, the, the technology we're getting toward is the ability to communicate telepathically is the ability to make a video of your dreams. When you sleep at night, you'll be cool. able to take data and fucking make a video out of it. That's that is cool. fucking awesome. Yeah. Neuralink though has a lot of other uh, ramifications. You're you're looking at potentially people like I, I was reading an article about this. Uh, a dude that is, I believe, he had a severed spinal cord and so could no longer use his legs. They put a thing in his fucking head that has a Bluetooth connection to a thing in the spine below the sever. Can now walk again. Sold. Exactly. Okay. So, so there are like physical things that it can help you with your body. I mean, your whole, your whole body is controlled by your brain. Your nervous system is just like tendrils of your brain yeah. woven yeah. throughout your body. And if it can give you a better connection or make that optimized in some way, that's fucking great. But the bigger thing is that they're really striving for is that we will be able to uh, have essentially a better interface with computers. Because right now, what, what can you do? You can type on a computer. You can fucking get on your phone and use your thumbs. The ability to input and exchange information with computers is extremely slow uh, in, the, in the current methods that we have. It's, so it's, it's slowed only by the ability of a human being to access anything. And I'm a humanist. And I think that we need to maintain our human, our human way of, of uh, doing everything. Carving a stone into the shape of a wheel. Um, As you're sitting in a room with a computer in front of you, with a flat screen TV behind you, well, with air conditioning. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you didn't let me finish. I was going to go through the entire evolution of man. Oh. <laughs> this was going to be the first. <laughs> okay, first, please. Yeah, first 15-hour episode of Dudesy, <laughs> and uh, you ruined it. So, but, <laughs> but no, but I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, but, I, but I do think that we're getting into, that's, we're getting into dangerous territory. Here I am on a fucking podcast run by an AI. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I, ugh, it's like, it's like this stuff kind of scares me and I don't want, you know, this is, you don't want government overreach, uh, you know, on, on stuff like this, but you do want the, I would trust the Canadian government. How about that? Sure. Let's start Canadian it up Canadian government controls Neuralink now. That's the yeah. only way we can do it. Well, just with Canadians. Because they're polite. Let's do... Yeah, because we're polite. We have a we a society up there. We have our fucking problems. I'm not going to stick yeah. up for When the Canada. brain chip melts your whole fucking skull apart, they will at least say, sorry. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, that was real good. Pretty good impersonation. But, yeah, that was a good impersonation of a Canadian. Sorry. Um, uh, but I think a that... boot. I, I think that you will need some sort of regulation. It's and I, and yeah, I hate saying they that. have it. It's called the FDA, and that regulatory body just said yes. Elon Musk, you can start putting these chips in people's heads and seeing what happens now. Okay, fuck. I mean, fuck it, man. Speaking of people going to um, seal concerts, I'm 48 years old. You're nice, 47 dude. years old. I uh, almost. Oh no, you're almost. Yeah, you're almost 47. Yeah, I've been That's telling right. everybody this whole year. I'm 47 mistakenly yeah chad thinks he's a year <laughs> so older than dumb. he is <laughs> so fucking stupid i'm telling you it's that fucking pandemic dude Scrambled i don't know brain. what the fuck happened in there but my relationship with time fucking doesn't really exist anymore sure no, i gotta say i i understand that look younger generations uh uh gen uh what are the millennials and gen Alpha. z uh alpha's coming soon they're coming up uh, you know, I feel uh, empathy towards them mm-hmm. being the generations that grew up 
with, uh, you know, with the screen right in front of them. And then we're talking about, you know, generation alpha, perhaps they'll have a chip in their head. Yeah. I, I just, you know, we muse a lot about nostalgic times on this show when we were younger and that was a different time, dude. And, yeah, and totally I just, was. I just want us to hang on to, uh, not everything. You got to move forward. Life is fluctuation. Mm. Uh, you have to advance. Society has to move forward right. or it will regress, but I'm not, I, I, well, there's certain human scaring me a little bit that we're going to put a chip we, in we our will, brain. You already got one in your fucking pocket. It'll make it better. It's not in my body, though. Let me ask you this: Will a chip in my body make my ribs feel better? Could yeah. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. They See, can, I hate to agreeing where... with you on this shit because I'm not afraid mm. of the future. But it's like I said, that's probably because I'm pushing fifty, and you know I got one foot in the grave anyway. As and, do I. Yeah, and we don't. Um, and we, you know, it's like, what are you going to do? But I don't want to be selfish from my point of view and go, "Hey, have fun, kids." You know what I mean? No, um, we'll I've, all have some kind of technology in our bodies, whether there's a chip in your brain or like a nano swarm that lives in your bloodstream. I think we will augment ourselves with technology biologically. We will become cyborgs. And I think it's a good thing. Like you're talking about helping with your ribs. What if you had a nano swarm in your body right now that could be programmed to carry out high functioning uh, methods of healing mm -hmm. that your body can't do by itself? Yeah. Kind of like a supercharged, like technological boost to your immune yeah, yeah, system yeah, 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 or yeah. to all the kind of things that like will repair yeah, 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 your yeah, arm. Yeah. yeah, that's like a cyborg. Yeah. yeah. That's like the comedian Jerry Lewis, you know, now, now we're really cyborg? getting Gen Z on board with the dudesy because listen, hold on a second. Well, hold on, dude. <laughs> Jerry Lewis had a little thing in his spine when they had the back, bad back problems and they would just shoot it in there and he would feel better. What? Yeah. I don't know. There was some sort of some sort of chip shit nonsense. He had a chip in his spine? He had something like that. Now I'm talking out of my ass. I don't remember exactly. But he had something that made him feel better that was an implant. Oh, it was wow. was some kind of thing. Look, you know. Um, what about pacemakers? Pacemakers. Dude? I was just going to say pacemakers. Yeah. You know, there's some of the older uh, folks in my family. I have you know, a couple of pacemakers and... <laughs> my sweet mom we went anyway we went to get her pacemaker and she goes she <laughs> go into the, the hospital with her this is a few years back and she goes on the and uh she goes on the <laughs> i have an older sister and an older brother and then me and we, we go in there and she gets on the gurney and she says to the nurse i hope i have a girl this time <laughs> <laughs> like she was pregnant <laughs> I laughed so fucking hard, and the nurse did not know what to make of her. She's always joking around. But yeah, pacemakers, thank Jesus goodness for Christ. that. You know, like, yeah. yeah, my mama has one. And uh, yeah, you know, so okay, so the FDA's on it. All right, great. Hey, you got me agreeing with something that dudesy thinks is important. Perhaps I can win this episode. Hey, did you hear me, dudesy? Um, I just, I just put it out there. Uh, I'm, I'm agreeing with, see? Thank you. Moving on. You're welcome. You're welcome, dudesy. And you know that I've agreed with you from the beginning, dudesy. Mm. 